So I've only done like an unboxing type of video like once before with the Ulanzi suction cup mount for the car. And you know, that video did crazy on my channel. It got like, I think like 13K views probably. I could be wrong, be more or less, but it went stupid. <laughs> and then three or four days ago, I uploaded a video, you know, at the time of me recording this at least. It has like 750 views in three days, which is crazy for my channel. Cause on average I get anywhere between like 20 to 150 to 250 views on my videos. And to get that in three days is crazy. I just want to say, I really appreciate y'all showing love on the video, liking the videos and you know, just watching them in general, because I do these for fun but i generally like the content that i make so i'm enjoying what i'm doing so if y'all are enjoying that as well then that's just an extra plus yeah let's go ahead and get into this unboxing though today we're going to be doing a different type of video we're going to be reviewing the insta 360 go 3 s and i've never really owned an action cam before never owned a gopro never owned the uh osmo actually i lied i did own the osmo pocket two no actually it was osmo pocket one i traded it with my friend rodney because he wanted it and i also wanted this little like portable monitor that he had which is kind of pointless now because i have an ipad i could use as a monitor but at the time i really wanted that little portable monitor but like i've said i've never owned an actual action cam like a gopro so this is my first one this one is pretty cool uh i wanted the insta go 3 but then they randomly dropped this well they probably didn't randomly drop it i just randomly found out about it but i decided to cop it it was like 430 bucks or something plus warranty it was like almost 500 but i had like adorama credit which is like 200 dollars from buying the lens that i'm using as a top-down shot the camera that i'm using as a top-down shot was going to be a Canon ADD because that's just an extra camera I had. But I decided to use the A7R5 with the 7200 on it. When I say this is the sketchiest setup I've ever had, I, I literally am so scared of it being above me. It's being held by a Ulanzi like magic clamp and magic arm. And it, it's not the most stable thing, but it seems to be working. So hopefully the shot comes out good. I hope it's exposed right. I can't really tell. I mean, it shows it's overexposed, which I guess isn't necessarily a bad thing, but like... This is, this is kind of sketchy. Yeah, I was able to get this for like $200 off, which I was like, yeah, screw it. I'm going to Austin, which is where I'm going to be testing this out. I'll probably do a vlog style video just with this if y'all want to see that. And that'll actually be the demonstration video. This will just be an unboxing. This camera, it's pretty cool. It does a lot of cool things that I've never really seen in an action cam before. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into that unboxing. As you can tell, I got a few things here to display. I got the Insta360 GO 3S. I also bought a PGY Tech case. It's a little hard case that if I want to, I could put it inside with the tripod and I can zip it up and just kind of carry it around my backpack, not having it, you know, get messed up, scratched up. I think there is a cover for this lens, but it's just extra, extra protection for the case in general. And then I went ahead and bought the quick release mount. And like I said, I bought. So keep that in mind. I did not necessarily get sponsored. Actually, I didn't get sponsored. I don't even know why I said necessarily. I did not get sponsored by them. They did not send me this. I paid for all this myself, like I said before. And yes, they want to send me the extra stuff like the monkey tail and the, the, the tripod. Go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll take them. But as of right now, I paid for all this myself. <laughs> Also, everything will be linked down below. So if you want to go look at it, I'll link all of the Amazon links down below. And I do get a little bit commission out of that. Appreciate y'all for that. I've been getting some decent commission from there. Not a lot, nothing crazy, just enough to buy food a couple times. And I really appreciate that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. I actually need to get a knife. Hold on, let me find that. All right, so we got the knife. Let's go ahead and get these extra boxes out of the way. Let's go ahead and flip this upside down. But actually, before we open it, let's go ahead and talk about some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and open the plastic though, because there's a lot of reflections. But this camera is basically an upgrade in a way, I have a lot of people are saying it's not really worth the upgrade itself if you already have the Instago 3S because that does shoot 2.7K, but this one itself shoots 4K, which is makes this probably the smallest 4K camera ever made. So let's go ahead and look at some of the specs on the box. As you can tell, it says it has flow state stabilization and horizon lock. Basically, it'll give you a extreme stabilization for when it comes to like riding on a bike or something like that. It'll be very smooth. It won't be shaky, even though the device itself is shaking. It has a 2.2 inch flip out touchscreen, which is very handy when it comes to like looking at yourself, looking at your shot and not really having to, you know, look at the back, set it up and then, you know, film. It just kind of helps out and you're not guessing where the camera's, you know, pointing at. You can actually see it. And I believe you can connect it to the app and get the same uh, features as well. I could be wrong, but I think the app works too. So you could also take the little camera out of the body, which allows you to have a wireless live preview. So that's really handy if you just want to connect it to, you know, yourself and just kind of look at it off to the side, or if you want to connect it to your cat, like it shows, have them run around. It, it's handy for that. Next, it's waterproof up to 10 meters, 33 feet, which compared to the last version, I believe was five meters. So this is, you know, five more meters and it doesn't hurt to have the extra, you know, distance you can go down. Next, you could also use 
the app to edit. It does like a quick edit for you, I believe. It's AI powered editing and which means it most likely does it for you. That's very cool if you want to, you know, plug it into your phone. There is a device you can buy extra, but I didn't buy that because I didn't want to spend the extra money on it right now. So if y'all want to send it to me, go ahead and send it to me. But it uh, literally plugs into the phone or your iPad, uh, Android phones, I old iPhones. It Like it works for all of them. And basically it'll upload it to the app, do a quick edit. You can post it literally as quick as you can, get it set up. So <laughs> that's very cool to have. So it does come with a couple mounts. It comes with the magnetic mount, the uh, suction t pivot mount, and then also the hat clip. So let's go ahead and get into the actual unboxing itself uh, i'm gonna open this up um this is not like apple boxes so it's a little bit harder to open all right this is v more difficult than i thought it was gonna be basically you open it up there's nothing in there um let's go ahead and pull this little tab Ooh, there's the camera itself right there wow that's very nice i got the black one by the way obviously you can tell from the box uh just because i wear a lot of dark colors and just having it on my chest when i'm like doing you know like behind the scenes shots i feel like this would be really cool to have on my chest and not really be popping out with the white so like i said i went with the black okay let's go ahead and open this wow the box <laughs> kind of got shifted around but it's cool so we have the suction mount which has a dust cover so that's pretty cool you could also connect it to the pivot mount and have it you know set up anywhere pretty much that isn't magnetic i guess so if i want to put it in my monitor right here i can literally connect it to the monitor and have a shot like this so yeah this this is pretty cool i don't know if i would really use this other than i'd probably use this little piece right here but i don't know if i'd actually use the actual suction mount or the mag yeah the sticky mount itself let's go ahead and set that off to the side next we got the little pendant that's magnetic it's a new pendant i think the old one didn't really wind up like this one so this one you can just wind up and like keep it out of the way i guess it's not as easy as i thought it was gonna be but you can just wind it up and then you can have a little pendant without the string being all over the place and dangling around so that's pretty cool it also allows you to mount it vertically or horizontally so it's really up to you i'll probably be doing a lot of landscape just because it's going to be going to youtube but there is a way a setting that you can use that'll you can set it up either way you want and it'll crop it to whatever size you need next we have the little hat clip this it basically puts the little pod inside of it you can connect it to your hat and you can get those little point of uh, view shots and it has a pivot so that's very handy when it comes to uh, adjusting the angle and not just being stuck on one angle. But another cool thing about this is that it's also magnetic. So basically, if I grab the plate, I can stick it to here and then it's just magnetic and I get the pivot on top of that. Dang, it's, a it's actually very strong magnets. Like, like watch. That's crazy. That's actually really strong. Let's go ahead and set that off to the side. Next, we have the Instinct 360 Go itself. Wow or go 3s not insta 360 go this is kind of heavy it kind of feels like a gopro i'm not gonna take the screen off yet because i do have a screen protector i like to put on right when i get the devices so we're not gonna be doing that but this is a very nice device let's go ahead and pop out the screen it's a little stiff but i guess that's good so it doesn't you know get like worn out as easily so that that's nice it feels kind of sketchy though like closing it it feels like i'm gonna break the screen but let's go ahead and take off these little stickers because we don't need those i guess i have to open this one to take it off so I open this and then we can take this off wow that's actually really small like here's my thumb here's the, the insta360 go so it's about the same size and then if we grab the magnetic pendant there we go easy all right so what else is inside the box i actually don't know there's probably an instruction manual to be honest yeah oh wow we get some stickers i will never put these on my case unless they sponsor me so yeah, these will just be uh, thrown off to the side for now. And then just some instruction guys that I'm definitely going to read later. And then I believe you get a charger. Yeah, here we go. This is a USB-C charger um, to USB-A, which is kind of weird for 2024 for it to be USB-A still. But I mean, go off, I guess. If you if that's what y'all want, then uh, I guess we're going to stick with USB-A. I really don't own any USB-A um, adapters anymore. Okay, I definitely will never be using to be honest as you can tell i have another one from another device i bought a long time ago i have never used it so it's just gonna sit there oh as soon as i put it in it start it turned red i don't know what that means but yeah it, it turned red so basically how you take it out i don't know if i really showed it that well you literally click the button and then you just pull and it becomes unmagnetized so that's cool and it's a very strong magnet like like this ain't coming out unless you detach it yourself. I don't know why the light's red. I, I just have to indicate that it's charging. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and try to turn it on. If I turn it on, I hold the power button. It turns on and the screen takes a while to turn on. Actually, I did not think it was gonna take like three, four seconds. Uh, so set up English. There is an app um, to activate it, which I guess I need to go do that. So let me go ahead and activate this. I'm gonna put the screen protector on and I'll be right back. Connection failed. Wow, that's a very good start.
It doesn't sit properly, but it is what it is. I'm actually very excited to use this. So I've been wanting to get a little bit more into photography and I bought a Fuji Film X106. It's, well, you probably can't see it, but it's on top of my shelf up there and you definitely can't see it. But uh, I want to do some POV shots just going around because I will be going to Austin. I'll be going to Alaska. And I just want to kind of take pictures with it. Just kind of get some photography content out there because I don't really do much photography anymore just because I've been doing a lot of video stuff but photography used to be my passion so I want to kind of get into that to get a little bit more creative and just kind of change things up so I don't get burnt out of this video stuff because literally what I do almost 24 7 whether it's for work freelance myself it's very exhausting to just constantly be doing video so I do want a little change in my life and I'm going to be doing a little bit more photography at least I hope I do. I say that and I probably won't, but it, 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 hopefully, hopefully that's what works out for me. And also I'll be able to use this device for like behind the scenes shots. Like when I do my freelance stuff, I can take this. If I go to basketball games or track meets, I could take this film to track me, you know, BTS video, just kind of give y'all some like TikTok content and stuff like that. I just feel like it's going to help out a little bit, especially with it being 4k, it should line up a little bit better. I know the contrast is a little bit, you know, higher on this camera than it was in Insta Go 3. Um, so with this being, you know, updated and having better quality, hopefully it turns out pretty good all right so i went ahead and set everything off to the side i'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing of the quick release mount um this goes on the bottom of the camera basically and it could also go on to the action pod itself and i just cut the box open completely without actually uh opening it at all so there we go let's go ahead and open this up pull this out um there's a little bit of water we'll excuse that it's from my drink but yeah, basically, this is a small little mount that's overpriced, I believe. And I got the name brand one because I trust name brand stuff more. I don't want to just buy something that's off brand and risk it breaking. Because the other ones, the little clip right here was a single piece that was like easily pressed. And I just personally, in my own head, I feel like having them two separate buttons like this is just better. But that's just me in my head. So, but basically, it has a uh, what is it, quarter inch mount screw at the bottom it also has the little flip out little attachments for like if you want to connect it to a handle or something so it has that now i don't know if this is worth the 30 something dollars that i spent but you know it doesn't come with it already so might as well buy it right whatever <laughs> so it also does come with the attachment pieces for if i want to you know mount it to a handle or something literally just stick that into there and then i grab the little screw piece and then i can just stick it into here Make sure it's lined up properly for all the holes. Stick it through and then screw in. And then I can pivot, which is a very weird build in my opinion. I feel like it's like really long, which is, I get it, but like it's just it's just built weird like it just looks weird maybe i'm tripping but it just it doesn't look right I, I don't i don't know i can just go ahead and show you while this is updating how it mounts so wow this actually got really warm during the updating process like I wish I could tell you how hot it was, but I don't really feel like getting a thermometer. But uh, let's go ahead and mount it. So you, wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. I knew it was a magnetic mount, but I didn't know it was gonna like be that strong of a magnet. Let's go ahead and unmount this. That, that was crazy. Like, look, I don't even have to like do anything. It just literally sticks. Now it doesn't latch automatically, but once you latch it, push it in, cause you kind of have to make sure it latches. Um, I'm gonna take this part off. It's just kind of bothering me. I don't know why. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, this collapses and... Wow, okay, it's done updating. Perfect timing. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think that's going to come off. It doesn't... It's not moving at all. But once you click the buttons, it unlatches. All right, <laughs> any day now? Perfect. Activate. I can, uh, I can just register it later. Okay, so swipe left and right to control the shooting modes. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have free frame video. I hope you can read that. I'm, here, let me go ahead and just zoom in. So I'm standing up for this, but basically we got free frame video. Uh, you can, so you basically can see all your settings. This shows you how de messy my desk is, but we have manual mode, auto mode. So let's go ahead and go through all the settings. We have 1080p at a 4-3 ratio at 24, 25, 30, and 50 frames, which is kind of weird. It doesn't have 60, but it is what it is. Next, we have 2.7K, which is like the Instago 3, if I can get to it. There you go. We have the exact same settings as well. And I believe 4K should be the exact same. Oh, it only goes up to 4K 30. That's fine, because I only use 4K 30 for the most part, unless I'm shooting like a video that requires slow-mo. But even though I thought it was shot up to 1080, 120, but I guess not. Oh, it has time limits, it does. Perfect. Okay, so let me go ahead and go back down. Device settings. So this is the album, if I want to look at what I've recorded. 
So I want to go back to here, time lapse. You know what? That was a free frame video. Uh, free frame video basically is the one that is shoots in a square since the sensor is itself a square. So whenever you're filming, it'll crop it to whatever you know aspect ratio you need. Let's go ahead and go to video. And then if I click that, all right, there we go. It gives me a wider angle. Then I can go to my settings. I can go change the white balance. I guess this is the clarity, I'm assuming. Video, yeah, video sharpness. I guess this is the jitter blur reduction. That's pretty cool. Um, it's off by default. I don't know if you really need that on or not. We'll get to that when we get to that. But um, next we have face detection. I'm assuming metering. Yeah, face metering and then matrix, which I don't know what matrix does. It, it just, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then we have manual, full manual. So you can adjust the shutter, the aperture. So you can adjust the shutter, the ISO, the white balance, the sharpness again and then the color profile, probably stick to standard, um, just keep that as is. Let's look at the settings again. We have 1080 up to 50 still, okay. 4K up to 30, I guess they're the same. I could have sworn it shot 120, but I guess I'm just wrong. But you can do 16 by nine, obviously, and then you can change the stabilization to high or off, and then you got your other settings right here. This came, you know, 51% charged on the case. The pod wasn't really charged, but it's cool. We can charge that. Hopefully it charges pretty quick. All right, so now that we have this updated and set up basically how I want it, um, we're going to say that I do because I really don't. Um, let's go ahead and clip this back on. Oh, it's like, it has to be a certain way. Okay, that's, that's something I didn't know, but that, that works. Now let's go ahead and set this out of the way. Um, it's very hot. Like it's still hot. Like I don't, that's kind of concerning, but maybe because it's a 4K camera, I, I don't know, but that's very warm. Not hot, but it's warm. All right, let's go ahead and open this up right here. I'm not, I'm not the best at unboxings. Like, I don't really do unboxings, but I do enjoy the content itself, so hopefully I enjoy making these videos because I want to do some unboxings. I've done one before, and it did really good. Literally, my first unboxing did so good for my channel. Let's go ahead and open that up, pull this out. Oh, comes with a little microfiber cloth. That's cool. I mean, I don't need it, but it's always good to have extras. That was upside down. Wow, that's actually a very, <laughs> that's a very big case. I'm not going to lie. PGY Tech stickers have so many of those. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. There's this. Basically, it just shows you how to install, even though it's a case, which is kind of funny that it says install. I don't know what these little... Anyways, that's probably not even relevant. But basically, like it shows, you can put it in there with the tripod still attached, so you can just carry that, and it protects the camera. There was a cheaper one that was like nine bucks. Definitely would have done the job just the same. But I like PGY Tech branding, like not branding, but the stuff that they create. And you know, I'd rather have a name brand case than a ten dollar case. This one was only like six dollars more, or something like that. But uh, I'd rather just have the name brand. And this one came with a better, like setup. I just the way it was set up, I just liked it a little bit better. So. Let's go ahead and unzip it and try the camera out in there. Oh, okay. So this one does come with a little pocket. I didn't even realize that. If I wanted to keep the cable in here, I could. That's cool. I did not know that. Now we can put the camera inside. And obviously, this is not meant just for this camera. This can be used for GoPros or whatever. But as you can tell, it fits a little bit bit or a little bit small inside of it. But with that little netting, it's going to keep it in place most likely. At least good enough to not just be moving around. I mean, yes, it moves around. But like, if I just have this on my backpack, like... That's fine. Like, that's not going to be a big deal at all. I like it. It's pretty cool. It's nice. Sleek. And, yeah, it works. Gets the job done. Now, it is exposed for the, you know, the handle right here. As long as you keep it face down, and if it is raining, keep it face down like this. You'll be fine, and you shouldn't really have a problem. So, that's basically the end of the video. That's the unboxing. I will be, like I said, making a vlog with this. I'm going to be taking this to Austin. Obviously, I'm going to be filming with my other camera as well, but that'll be a video for my main channel, and this will be just a Duran Media video. So, y'all will get the exclusive 360 Go S video only. That's pretty cool. I feel like the little flip out screen is gonna be great if I just want to talk. The mic on here is actually really good. I was surprised, like, I was listening to it. I'm like, do people have a mic connected? But the mic on here is it's pretty good for like what it is. I could actually give you a little, you know, example shot if y'all want, real quick. Let's go ahead and um, turn it back on. Holding it, it's like with it being a little bit heavy, it kind of helps out and it like it feels good. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, it looks like shit, but it's because it is in 2.7K and it could just be the little screen. I'm gonna go ahead and start recording. Um, as I can tell that there is a slight delay in the screen. So that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it, with it being hard connected, not like wireless, it shouldn't really be delaying as bad as it is. I feel like it should be like perfect. I get it if it was like detached and like was, you know, just a little pod, I'd get it. But like this, this isn't, this isn't okay. <laughs> I don't know, I don't like it. Hopefully they fix that and update. I doubt they will. I mean, this only has been out for like a week or two. But hopefully they fix that because this would be a very cool idea 
if it was live and showing me normally like a normal camera would this yeah this is nice i actually kind of like the wide angle i feel like i can vlog here i feel like it sounds good i know it sounds good i'm not using this mic i'm using the mic on here you could probably tell the difference obviously yeah let's see if i can detach it and it still records oh it's still recording let's kind of set that up right there and now i'm recording on the little pod itself i can see the live preview i can show you all the live preview let's go ahead and show you all that right there i'm like all up in my face and stuff but um yeah that's actually very cool i like that i actually like that so if i just want to stick this anywhere i really could if i want to put it on my imac oh it's not metal enough but um i can stick it on my laptop nope that's not even metal either this is getting awkward and awkwarder but um I did say I only wanted it to stay up for 30 seconds and it just fell again. I do need to get a clip or something to keep that from falling. We're just going to have to ignore the background. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I like it. Nice. 0.5. You know what? I'm not even going to end the vlog. I'm not even going to end this video off on the camera because I just want to use this to end it off. So let's go ahead and end this. Cut this camera. All right. So now I cut the camera and I'm just going to be ending the outro on here. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Again, appreciate all the support on the unboxing content that y'all showed in the past. Hopefully we get the same support on this. Also really appreciate the support that I got on the um, travel camera gear video. Like I said, 700 plus views in less than three days. That is outstanding for my channel. I really appreciate that. I appreciate y'all and I hope y'all have a good day. I don't know why did I say that? I'd never say that in my videos, but I always hope that y'all have a good day. But yeah, this will be the end of the video. Make sure y'all follow my social media. Follow me on TikTok to see some of the FPV videos that I'm going to be making with this camera. And a lot of content will be coming soon. I do really want to use this in Austin. I bought a waterproof case for it. I'll put that in the video when I get it. Hope y'all look forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, people all the credentials in the background. Those are all the events that I've been to. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'll catch y'all later. Y'all be safe. And yeah, y'all have a good one. Oh, I need a lens cap. We'll be using the Peak Design lens cap like always. I'll catch you on the video or I'll catch you on the next video.